All right, guys, 262 steps up to the top, 43 meters high. What's up guys, welcome to another video. My name is Marlon and today I'm picking up on day three here in St. Petersburg. I started off here at the Hermitage. I have it right behind me as you guys can see. Wanted to come back here again because I was here the other day and this entire section was blocked off because they were having like a big celebration here, a big festival. And unfortunately they still have, they're taking it down now. They have the like stage and stuff that's so still in front of the, the uh, building here. But just press for time, not gonna make it into the Hermitage actually. But I wanted to come out here and you know, just visit this nice area of St. Petersburg. We're gonna uh, squeeze in as much as possible today. All we're doing is just sightseeing. So we're gonna head down straight over there to the uh, St. Isaac's Cathedral and check that out as well. We were over there uh, the other night, but uh, we're gonna go over there right now. So check out the, uh, the, the Winter Palace here. And the Palace Square, check it out. Just want to clarify something. I don't, I'm not sure what I called this building earlier. This is the actual Winter Palace. Inside is the Hermitage. It's one of the six buildings that make up the, the museum. So, but this one specifically is the Winter Palace here over here. Behind me, the big massive building right there. That's in. That's right behind me. That one is the uh, General Staff Building. Just wanted to be. Uh, just wanted to clarify. That's all. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it here to St. Isaac's Cathedral, which is the largest Orthodox cathedral in the world. And it's the fourth largest church in the world, or fourth largest cathedral in the world. All right, guys, we're making our way in. It was 400 rubles to get in to the cathedral and to go all the way up to the top. So not too bad, about just under 20 bucks for four people. And uh, we're gonna go see the, what the view's like from up top. All right, guys, 262 steps up to the top, 43 meters high. Ooh, I'm out of breath, guys. The view over here. Beautiful. Totally worth it to come up here. 360 view, uh, degree view of St. Petersburg and uh, pretty amazing views. Uh, just uh, make sure you come ready to go up those stairs. It's not too bad, I've been in worse, but uh, when you're walking for like 10 days in a row, your legs get tired real quick. <laughs>
Kate from St. Isaac's. We're moving on. We're going to go check out the uh, metro here in St. Petersburg. Quick fun fact about St. Isaac's. This is named St. Isaac's because it was uh, it was dedicated to St. Isaac because it was the uh, patron saint of Peter the Great. And so that's why they named it that. But uh, amazing architecture, art, and just a beautiful cathedral. And that's it from here. Let's keep moving. Before we uh, head over to that metro station, we're going to stop and get, grab a bite here at this uh, restaurant. I can't pronounce it, <laughs> but I will show you. It says the home of happiness, but I don't know the, the Russian name here. All right, this right here means happiness in Russian. I asked the, uh, the waitress, so I can't pronounce it, but it means, <laughs> it means happiness. And by the way, I'm gonna try the beef stroganoff. You know, after all, we are at the uh, the home of the uh, stroganoff, so that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. What are you having, Julie? I think I'm gonna do the chicken soup and then a Russian potato salad. All right. Anti-vloggers, right here. Anti-vloggers. This better be good because we waited an hour for our food. All right, guys, we are on our way to uh, one of the uh, train metro stations here to go check that out. Lunch was good. It was just. A uh, very long wait. The waitress, for some reason, I guess they were too busy. Uh, you could just tell she wasn't a happy person. So, so much for that place being called happy. Don't recommend it, just my personal experience. But anyways, the weather is great today. It's about 73 degrees and it feels really good. Okay guys, we're here at the Admiral Tescaya uh, metro station, which is the deepest metro station in the world. It's 86 meters deep and it has the longest escalator also here. Check it out. I should have timed it, but, <laughs> but it's really long. stop then we switched trains and made another stop and we're here at the uh, Nef I believe this is called Nevsky stop which is near the fan fest and I want to go back up to the uh, church of the save our savior on spilled blood train station is very clean I didn't really see anything that like wowed me but it was pretty cool I don't want to make it seem like it's bad but the, I mean the train stations are really nice yeah, fast and efficient and cheap real easy to move around on uh, we just haven't really had the need to, to, to hop on the metro but we wanted to check it out regardless of that because this is one of the things you uh, should come see when you get to uh, St. Petersburg. guys that's it from the church of savior on spilled blood trying to wrap it up tonight it's already almost seven o'clock we're just trying to see a couple of the uh, you know sites before we uh, head back to the uh, apartment okay guys we're at the grand palace but my family thought it was an actual palace and it's a mall which I knew but I guess they didn't <laughs> going to malls when I'm traveling is not my thing but I needed to use the bathroom but uh, so so much for the Grand Palace hi guys I made it over here to the Kazan Cathedral wanted to come check it out it's one of the nice uh, landmarks to come see here in st. Petersburg this cathedral is was inspired by the uh, St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. It was designed by a Russian uh, architect named 
Voronik King, I believe. I messed up his name, I'm sorry. But the interesting thing here is it has, it has 96 columns all around right here like that. And they're fa facing on, this is the Nevsky Prospect or Nevsky Boulevard or Avenue on this side. Again, it's just a really nice landmark to come check out. Very beautiful. Unfortunately, it's too late to go inside. This is going to be my final stop in St. Petersburg and just wanted to uh, come look at this. And uh, I'm going to show you guys some of these shots from, from this uh, beautiful building. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Had a great time, a great trip here. Began in Sochi, went to Moscow, ended up here in St. Petersburg. Uh, this is it. Uh, the FIFA World Cup has been an amazing experience. It was a lot funner than my Germany 2006 World Cup experience, but nothing against that World Cup, but it was just a lot much funner. Russia has been amazing, a whole lot better than I expected it to be, to be, to be quite honest with you. Really enjoyed it here, the food was great, the people have been amazing, just a lot of fun. So uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Check out my content if you're new around here. See if you like my channel. Subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next video. I uh, will also be sure to check me out on Instagram at Martin underscore PTY. That's it. Kind of sad. I'm actually, my trip is coming to an end, but got to go back home. All right, guys. Take care. Peace out. Das Vidanya.